based on what you look at, Facebook shows you more of that. What up friends of the internet, Lori coming to you today. I didn't know what to do today for Video Tuesday. It's been a cray day. My emotions have been all over the map. There's a lot going on in my life and I was like, do I emote or do I teach Facebook? <laughs> so I decided to teach Facebook. Do you know how when you're scrolling through Facebook and you're you're seeing ads come up now unless you have an ad blocker on the majority of people don't have ad blockers on so ads will show on your Facebook as you're scrolling through in the news feed and on the right hand side and certainly if you're on your mobile they show on there as well anything that says sponsored is an ad that being said based on what you look at Facebook shows you more of that. That's called an algorithm. It's a big, huge, fancy number in code, and that's how Facebook knows what to show you. And when it comes to ads, the ads that people, marketers like you and I, when it comes to ads that we place, you know, we want the right people to see those ads. Again, another story. But Facebook doesn't always get it right. For example, I see ads about things that I've never looked at, nor am I even remotely interested in. So, you know, it certainly is not perfect, but I found something in Facebook in the settings that I want to show you today that I didn't really know existed until I started just tooling around a little bit. And um, I'm really happy with my results, so I'm gonna share that with you today. So if you are interested in fine tuning those ads so you don't see maybe everything, then this video is for you. Here we are in my personal Facebook account, Lori Ratzlaff, yes, that is me. How I got here was simply facebook.com and then this little drop down arrow right here and I clicked on settings. So this brings you to your general account settings. From here, I clicked on ads, and here I clicked on ads based on my preferences. Now, the preferences are the things that I have already looked at, but like I said, Facebook doesn't always get it right. So go ahead and click this little pencil icon, and it tells you this stuff and then you just click visit ad preferences. And now you're in a section where these are all sort of major topics. You can see here it has 452 subtopics. So here is an example. I personally am not really that interested in Aweber. Aweber is an email service that I used once upon a time and I don't work or I don't use it anymore. So I'm just gonna X out of there and you can see it's crossed off. Uh, Pandora Jewelry, that's interesting how, you can see here my interests are all like online marketing, network marketing, social media marketing, and jewelry. <laughs> it's main topics, subtopics. So just go through these one by one, choose which ones are meaningful to you, and delete the ones that aren't. Actually, I'm not. I, I will never be a trail runner. Lori, just admit it not infant formula so it auto saves so it's not like you have to click uh, at the bottom or the top on a save button or anything that's all you need to do moving forward you will not see ads based on those things that you removed how cool is that so I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial for you a couple of little clicks and you're good to go now you're gonna see exactly what you want to see so thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today on this video Tuesday. You know it means the world to me. If you have found this video useful or helpful, I would be so grateful if you would give it a thumbs up or share it. And if you haven't yet already, click right down here, subscribe to my channel because I make two new videos every week and they're usually pretty cool, or at least I think they are. <laughs> So that's what I had for you today, my friends of the internet. Until my next time, much love. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now. That is a really big deal to me. And so I took it personally and then we got into it and then it ended by me banning him from my channel.